Hey everybody, welcome back. We're doing another Marvel Future Revolution video and holy game general updates. I've probably not been, ha this is probably the happiest I've been for any dev note. Again, surface value, we'll see how it gets implemented. I was pretty happy about the last one we got thinking that we were gonna get a core situation that was gonna be a lot better. It wasn't, uh, but I think with this one, there's, we'll go through it, but I don't think there's a lot of ways to screw this up, frankly. I mean, there's certainly some ways, but, uh, and hopefully they don't, uh, they don't uh, let us down here, but yeah, we'll check it out if you're new to the channel. Check out Discord links and all that sort of thing. Uh, hammer down like buttons and uh, let's get to this dev note. Bring me Wolverthor. Okay, so we got this dev note uh, early in the morning on the east coast of the United States. Typically when these things come out, and I will say, I said at the front end, I am shocked with how much excitement. I'll go through this super quick, and then I'll come back and do my quick opinions. Uh, new Invasion, uh, it looks like it's going to be Thor, Love and Thunder. Excited to have it. I'm expecting probably uh, Lady Thor companion in this. Maybe a Korg? I mean, that'd be fun. Um, anything, or the goats? Oh, guys, I guarantee, promise you now, those goats from uh, Thor and Love and Thunder, they're going to be memes all over the place. So we'll get that. The badges are going to be PvP oriented. Look, sounds like Dimension Duel. Uh, we've done some videos on this recently. Dark Zone reconfiguration. All right, there's a reason I wanted to talk to you guys some about that. I want to get this information out there to the devs, etc. I take a lot of this stuff. I talk to them, uh, share with them. I just share my feelings sometimes. And I also share like, this is what I think. This is what I saw everybody else think. And I hope that some of this stuff kind of comes to fruition. Regardless, they recognize that there's problems in Dark uh, dark Zone. They're talking about PvE channel, shortened time within Dark Zone, and unlimited rewards. Oh my lord, we'll talk about that. They've got some improvements coming for Alliance Raid improvement, the screen, uh, seeing which companions other people have equipped. I think that's fantastic. Uh, today, today's target and most wanted information. I'll go through this a little bit more, but it sounds like what they're doing here uh, one of the, is that they're going to have a prime that's going to be most wanted as well, which I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know if I love that. This part, I was a little like, eh, because if I get Hela as my prime, I'm going to be like super annoyed. She is terrible to take down. Now, having said that, I was asking for a world boss, right? So maybe this is some sort of like somewhat like that. So it's like, well, if I can't even get people together to help me kill Hela, then I'm not gonna, you know, I don't know, who knows. Uh, they also are gonna fix when you see, um, a lot of times when you're trying to find the most one and you clip on a gateway or a portal, you forget where they were. I hope they do this in Dark Zone too because that's where I need it the most. Biggest thing I love here, uh, specialization presets and they're getting rid of the gold. Thank you, thank you. For somebody who changes presets all the time, I very much appreciate that. Again, another gigantic win here. We think, we think. So the ability to change uh, your battle badge core slot color. So we co complain about this a lot. I'll get into why I think or don't think this could be a great thing. And then the, it ends with a squad rank expansion. This is more whale type stuff. I'm not even close to this. I personally don't care. I'm a little worried about this because I feel like it's gonna help the whales um, extend themselves a little bit further. So I really hope that net marble makes it so that it's hard to get there. But I know a lot of my whale friends they have already gotten to that point. So anyway, I, I said I wasn't going to give commentary. I can't help myself. Okay, so that was the quick and dirty. The longer version. Uh, all right, so new epic invasion. There is Thor's, uh, the new Thor movie coming out. Can't wait to see this in, what is it, about two weeks or about a week, a little over a week, right? Yeah, yeah, next week. So I'm looking forward to seeing that. They're the special badges that are going to come out of this are useful for PvP, and they talk about dimensional duel. It consists of stats that can turn the battle to your advantage depending on you and your opponent's HP status. So I have a feeling it's going to depend, like you're going to get buffs if you're above 100 HP or if you're below, uh, you know, 30% HP, maybe it gives you something. That's what I'm expecting from these. It's certainly something that I'm going to very much look into because I definitely like the concept of getting a... Uh, uh, a, a pvp centric battle or a dimension duel set of badges so i like these i'm gonna look for these i'm still trying to build up some of my uh eternal badge set for the uh group pvp settings dark zone reconfiguration 
They, it was designed as a top PVP and v PVE viable content so that we could collaborate and challenge each other. However, Netmarbles realized that it's become difficult to main, maintain the original motive of Dark Zone. They're not wrong. Not only were many agents who feel burdened with the competition, but also due to the increasing gap between new and old agents or uh, bigger spenders and less spenders, uh, they, they saw that there was uh a problem here there are three major improvements that they're talking about that, that, that they have in mind currently this doesn't mean they're going to happen but if they have them in mind so keep that in mind not all concerns may be addressed through this update however improvements will be made on urgent changes that need to be done based on the new dark zone that we have envisioned and future content will be added so that means there's some more to come potentially so the first off is they're talking about a pve channel and actually, as they say this, it, I mean, I know they say they have in mind. Uh, it sounds like these are probably going to happen. Uh, there was a point in time when they added the PVE channel. It had to do with training grounds and XP, da, 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 da. The PVE channel was later removed in line with the update for training grounds, but they received multiple requests for the reinstatement. I've seen it a lot. Now, I will also pair this with saying a lot of the times that I was in the PVE zone, it was empty. Just completely empty. So I hope... For all the people who wanted this back, I hope you guys are in there because it's going to be hard for the devs to constantly say that it should be there uh, or have the resources for something like that to be in there if it's if nobody's ever, you know, in there. So they said that things are a little bit different now and they agree with their agents given the bigger gap between, um, I'd say, your stronger power and your lower power characters. However, to keep the original purpose of Dark Zone, they're planning to distinguish the PvE channel and the reward balance to the PvP. And I honestly agree with this. I don't, even if I was a PvE player, uh, or if I wasn't really in the PvP channel, I should say, I'd still think that's like, well, it's harder to get stuff out of the PvP channel, so it should be get more rewards for that. They want the, the agents to have more exciting play through cooperation and competition in the PvP channel. They'll share more details in the future. Now, this is probably one of my favorite things. Shorten Dark Zone activity time. It's set for an hour. Many agents have voiced that it's too long. They concur with us and they they, they need to shorten this time in future updates. Such, it's a, actually, what does this say? With their agents and on the need to shorten the activity time considering future updates such as squad battle. So basically, they're recognizing like, hey, you're going to give us more stuff to do. That means you got to take some things away. This might be the first game that I've played that's proactively said, you know what? We need to make sure we're cognizant of screen time here and we're going to reduce some up front and then because we know we have some of these other things coming. A lot of the games that I've played before literally just kept adding and adding and adding and adding and stacking to the point where it's like you could spend eight hours a day easily with your face in your screen. You know what I mean? And it's just like, it was insane. So anyway, I'm really happy to see that uh, the activity time will be shortened to 30 minutes. I think that's perfect during the July update. They're currently testing to find the best time to plot to apply the activity time. So one of the goals is to reconfigure the dark zone where agents can save time and receive re rewards more efficiently. So when they say the best time to apply the activity time, there might be another adjustment there. My hope, my hope is that they have a nighttime. Well, depending where you're on the world, let's just say right now it's nighttime for most of us in your zones. I hope 12 hours later or earlier, however you want to look at it, they have another little chunk of time because it doesn't matter. Like, look, so the reality of the situation is some of us might be in Asia playing on NE East. Some of us might be in Europe playing on uh, NA West. Some of us might be, you know, in the United States playing on Asia. You just don't know because it depends where your friends are. But on top of that, if you don't want to factor in the global situation, there's some people who work at nights and can't do it at night. So you want to be able to give those people the opportunity to do it in the morning because they might that's their day so i'm hoping that they recognize that they shift it from five hours whatever it is down to about three at night um and maybe like two in the morning or something like that uh two hours in the morning as well i think that would be a great great change there but i love seeing this so far we'll see our goal is to reconfigure it so it's more efficient now the next part here is also very interesting. You read that right. Dark Zone Most Wanted Unlimited Rewards will be applied to Dark Zone. So we've wanted a, uh, abilities to farm a little bit now. Granted, we only have a 30 minute window um, and there's certainly going to be ways to sort of, you're going to want to do this, but they're, uh, they're making it so that you can get in there and get whatever, whatever, whatever you get, you get. The reward, the current reward count is seven for normal targets and two for prime targets. 
Netmarble has concluded that one of the biggest factors hindering agents from actively playing the Dark Zone is the limited reward count despite its one of our activity time. And yeah, the rewards stink. They're terrible. Dark Zone activity time will be shortened, but the reward count will now be unlimited. We are researching on how to maximize to achieve maximum efficiency in a short period of the Dark Zone. We hope that with this improvement, Dark Zone will no longer be a chore, but an enjoyable content where agents can also select the desired play style. Now, I was stoked when I read this. I'm like, this seems amazing. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Now, but we got to think about this. So there is a chance here that I, I don't want to get my hopes up too much on this. I'm not going to expect I get cards from every one of these bosses. What they're probably going to do is, yeah, it's going to be unlimited rewards, but it's going to, I wouldn't be surprised if they either switch it to a currency that's like use this currency and you go buy something from a store so that you're not just getting guaranteed cards so it's important to recognize now how many cards you generally get now versus how many you're going to get later um because it needs to be more than what we get now like this 30 minute time period if i get the same thing i guess that's fine because it's 30 minutes but you're hyping me up for these unlimited rewards and if you're giving me the same thing it's like it's not really unlimited it's you get unlimited of what you get, but you can at maximum, you can only get the same amount what you got before. And if you're now making me stay in for 30 minutes to get what I could get before in 10 minutes, you're going to anger players because players aren't going to want that. OK, I'm telling you right now, do not do that. If you are even thinking about it, don't make sure that players can get more than what they were able to before. I promise you that it is very unlikely that you are going to break the game by whatever you put in there. You know what I mean? Like, my alliance is insanely efficient in Dark Zone, and in half the time, I'm guessing we're going to be able to get anywhere from 30 to 50 kills in. I think our maximum in the hour time frame was like 117, and that was like crazy efficiency, like awesome night, just getting everything done. So... I'm very curious to see what they do here. So I would set the bar at about, you know, expecting the highest in the people to get about that 50 at maximum 60 in a 30 hour, but about that 50 mark. And what would you be okay with giving 50 right away? And then see what it is. If it's one star cards, then start there. Okay. If it's one star gear fodder, start there. Now it shouldn't be because that's not going to get us anywhere. And we're going to be annoyed. So I'd say at least two to three stars, but that's where I would look at it. If I was net marble. So, you know, don't please don't mess that up please all right alliance raid improvement let's see what do we got here we've been receiving countless suggestions since its update mostly regarding the inconveniences while playing it and a lot of this has to do with just how long it takes getting people around you know compiled if you're not on a voice chat who's got this who's got this who's got this type in who's got these equipped who's got these equipped it's a pain in the butt Though not drastic, we've been applying the suggestions a bit by bit. Further improvements will be reflected in this update, and they're going to continuously work on improving the Alliance Raid to take it up a notch. We know there is still room of improvement, but we hope to provide a better quality of life for our agents as a stepping stone for a better gaming experience. In addition, we plan to gradually continue the improvement of Alliance Raid until it's uh, perfected. All right, I like that. So please feel free to voice your concerns as suggested. The first thing they talk about here is Alliance Raid Hero Selection Screen Improvement. They're talking about an agreement that only being able to see the playable heroes upon the selection without any other information is somewhat inconvenient. However, the Alliance Raid hero selection screen will be improved so that agents can view which hero is currently queued, has participated, and can participate for clarity. Now, I don't know. I gave a suggestion about this where I was saying you, what you should make it is I want it to be that I like sometimes we needed two more Spider-Man. We need two more Spider-Man. So I want to be able to see my entire alliance and who's got a Spider-Man that's one mil. Okay. Uh, you know, Bob does. Oh, but he's already used it. Hey, but Susie, Susie's got one and she has, and someone go ping Susie, see if she can come over. Anyway, I hope it's something along those lines. I think that's probably not what we're going to get. I'm expecting it's more based on what you've got, but I don't know whether they're going to adjust that because I don't find a personal re a problem with how knowing who I've used on there a little bit. I don't know. So we'll we'll see. Uh, equipped a companion info in participation info. Uh, this is essentially that we've requested that the equipped main comp a companion of participating members to be displayed. They're going to do this, including the participation info equipped. Uh, yeah, basically, you can just see this. So if someone's like, all right, they've got Thena, they've got Cersei, they've also got Thena. Okay, so I'm going to bring Vision. 
or something along those lines because you want to ma or uh, america chavez because you want to make sure to maximize all the defense down type stuff that you get on somebody so i i like that i think that's great the next one they had here is today's target and most wanted information plan to reinforce uh by adding a new reward in addition prime targets will appear in today's target as a set rate watch out as the rewards for their most wanted will be different double trouble greater the rewards so we'll see what we get from these again like i mentioned I, I, some people are going to be annoyed by this. I like more rewards. Uh, I think they're recognizing that nobody's going after to kill p characters like Hella or Hell Hulk because they're terrible to kill and they're super annoying and you need a group to do it. So I don't know. We'll see. I think you're going to get a mixed reaction from that. Personally, I think it's great. It's fine. It's like, okay. I don't like most wanted, generally speaking, but um, if I can find an efficient way to do it, I don't mind. And honestly, like even the lower tier bosses, like I'll i just go get them like meaning like all right so i just want cards i'm gonna go get a you know a mid guardia level character and not worry about this all right so display most wanted on the galaxy this is what i was talking about before that basically when you go in your portal or gateway screens that uh you can't see where the most wanted targets are or which ones have spawned they're now going to add that i'm really hoping that they do this in dark zone as well to me that's actually the biggest problem is I'd always be, I'd click on a card and I'm like, where was that boss again? I don't remember. And someone would tell me, luckily I'm on voice. Specialization presets, just high five. Giant, giant high five. I wanted this so badly. As a widow who changes my presets in almost all three different game modes, I've got a different preset. Thank you. I actually hope that they add more presets in the near future. I, I, I could use at least five or six. I want one for spec ops. I want one for invasions. I want one for Spider-Man. You know, it's like uh, yeah, some people might want one for storms. You know, there might be an Iron Man who's like, you know, what? I'm going to make a uh, EMP build. So when I face a storm, I just click it and I can use my EMP shot to take that bubble out. But right now you can't. It's not worth it. All right. So I'm going to read this battle badge core slot change thing just to make sure we fully grasp this. Many of our agents have been acquiring and, and enhancing epic invasion special battle badge. Of course, since they're enhanced by crafting, unfortunately, certain aspects may or might not carry over. We notice that many of our agents have crafted special battle badges with satisfying stats, but do not enhance them to the highest grade. Yeah, no kidding. A consensus was made that the reason behind it is because the core slot results are based on probability that the desired core slot color is hard to obtain. Yes, very much so. We believe that agents will be more motivated to enhance special uh, battle badges to the highest grade if the crafting method is proved. Yes, it absolutely is true. How, therefore, we will be adding a battle badge core slot color change feature through a coming update. I, I like it. A dedicated material can be used to change one battle badge core slot color at a time. So it's not going to be two. So if you get a red and a blue and you only want to change one, it sounds like you're going to be able to use something to change just one of them. I like that. Um, it's, it's So that way it get, takes it's less RNG in it. A dedicated material, I uh, mentioned that. And the resulting color excludes the uh, current color. The color change rate of all color slots is subject to the same probability. Enhance your special uh, battle badges the highest grade and acquire your desired core slots using that course slot color change feature. Um, look, they're, they're going to add something to this, so you, you got to work for it. Frankly, I don't find it's it unless this is just complete and utter. I think I, I, the only way to screw this up is if you you know, make it, I mean, climb to six, you know, Mount Everest to get one of these things. And I still have to deal with the RNG of it. Okay. It's like, whatever. I'll get them when I get them. Now I still, even under that part, I'm annoyed, but I'm still happy. I have the option to do it. So I'll take it. And again, squad rank expansion. They're just taking it above 300. It doesn't say how high it'll go or what it, you'll get, uh, or the experience it's going to take to get to those next levels, but they're getting it. They understand. They've, they know some people are capped out. Great. I'm nowhere near it, and even my rankings underneath that are nowhere near it. So I hope it doesn't separate me too much from some of those folks at the top. You know, I already have a little bit of a hard time keeping up, but I try my best. Right? That's all we can do. That's what the mom and pa told me to do. So anyway, uh, yeah, I like this. I think this is a, a really good dev note. I'm excited to see a lot of these things. Let me know what you think in the comments below, or come over to the Discord. I mentioned the link in the description. I just think these things are all fantastic. I, I really do. I, I'm, I'm excited about this. While I think they've tried to listen to some things and fell short, I'm hoping that a lot of this dark zone listening things all seems good. 
Uh, alliance rate improvement. Listening seems good. Uh, today's target, most wanted stuff. Eh, gateway, I like that. That's cool. Specialized preset, listening, good. Changing course colors, uh, good. You know, so I, I, this is a win. This is a win to me. Now, again, we'll see what we get, but that's all I got. So I appreciate you guys making this far. Hammer down like buttons, all that sort of thing. Uh, and until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.